just left the A1 for Darlington, headed for Aldi. Now there's two routes you can take. You can either go left, which is where I'm going to go, for the Faverdale North Industrial Estate, or go straight on, turn left for some traffic lights, and that brings you round at the bottom of the industrial estate. This way, it's perhaps a more direct route to Aldi Darlington. As with most Aldis and Lidl's, can be quite busy. session on how to use them it's not hard it's a health and safety thing so here we are yeah you queue up on the road that's right keep to the left if you're a supplier right hand lane is for Aldi vehicles And you just move up as and when it's your turn. Keep to the left. So from the A1, it's probably less than five minutes. Um, this is a more direct route going the way I've come. If you go straight on, at that first roundabout, um, it's like the southern end of the industrial estate. Again, it's only going to be another couple of minutes longer, so it's easy to get to. Can be quite busy, but normally, once you're in and on the bay, it's pretty quick, and they seem to be a lot quicker doing paperwork than littles tend to be. So I'll just keep the uh, camera running a little bit longer so we can see the gate house and then you just literally go over, give them your paperwork. Sign in. Just do a little bit of my paperwork. Turn the truck off. Yeah, I don't know what else to tell you. 
Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and click on the bell notification button for more. It all helps with the YouTube algorithm. So I'm going to try and do quite a few of these how to get to videos. Um, it's all very well looking at a Google Maps or notebook or something like that is using your sat nav um, but if I can I'll give you a few tips and hints and obviously this is for beginners and people who have never been and I'll try and cover as many as I can that I think are going to be awkward um, let me know in the comments if you think it's a good idea or not but yeah you can see how long it takes to book in I think I'm the third, the third in the queue. But when it gets busy, you can be sat outside for quite a while, just waiting your turn. And then you can arrive at other times, go straight to the front, and you're in 10 minutes. So it's, um, it's one of those things. Obviously, you've got to be aware of traffic coming on the outside, and they cut across into their own car park on the left. Um, you can't quite see it because the truck's in the so just be aware when you move off, just check your mirrors. Hopefully, you shouldn't be here too long. Uh, remember, um, for again for beginners and people that have never been to an Aldi or a Lidl, don't put it on brake while you're on a bay because you are tipping it yourself. And the ministry do know that and sometimes they hover around outside knowing that you've you've been in and then wonder why or ask not wonder they ask why you've been on break while you've obviously been tipping. So be very aware of that. Don't put it on break while you're on the bay. So there's your great house to the right. Go to the window and do what they want you to do. They check your paperwork and your booking times, etc. Um, I know some of them give you a little um, entry fob. It's almost like a health and safety fobs so they know who's on site and if there's a fire alarm you swipe it at the nearest gathering area if you like um, not all of them do I don't think so just be aware that sometimes they'll give you a fob and sometimes it's a gaining entry fob as well it opens the electric door or the electric lock so yes so that's the gatehouse over to your right um, and then from there he will guide you will let you know which side of the building you need to be I think it's um, I say it's quite a while since I've been I think it's mainly over to your left as we sit here from the Nolan's wagon bare left and I think Aldi wagons go to the right if I remember rightly but if you're unsure just ask and they'll tell you. There's an actual sign, sorry, a map on the gatehouse wall, um, which will obviously give you instructions as you're walking over, you have a quick look. I have other videos on the channel um, that help you just trying to think off the top of my head and um, most of the major container docks I haven't got Hull but I've got Liverpool, uh, London Gateway, Southampton, Felixstowe they're all on my channel and how to get there what to do when you get there so let's have a look around and I say yeah just if you want to leave a comment seeing if you want uh, more of this sort of thing to help out. I'm going to pause it 
pulled forward. Have a look in your mirror, looking for traffic, coming on your outside. We're clear to go. Pull up to the barrier. Thanks for watching. Catch you again later.